My name is Andrew DeVries. I'm a sculptor. I've been a sculptor now for 35 years. I live by the sale of my work. Why bronze? It's a beautiful medium. If you go back historically, the two mediums that sculpture was put into would be marble and bronze. If you look at this piece, it's suspended just by this ribbon. You could never do that with stone because of the tensile strength in stone. You'd have so much weight up above, it would snap. They're not carved. It's actually put together from modeling and mold work. Most sculptors are either one or another. They're either a carver in their heart or they're a modeler. I'm just naturally a modeler. You can see part of the armature, the skeletal structure that comes out for the arms. Um, there's still some wires up here for the hair. This is the actual sculpting before the rest of the process goes on. I begin by putting in a hip structure, a rib structure, a skull structure, and then putting the musculature on. I grew up on a dairy farm south of Rochester, New York. Quit school when I was 15 with the idea that I would be an artist. And I made a deal with my dad that I would work with him for five years and then go off and be what I thought was gonna be a painter. Saved my money, five years was up. I loaded up everything in the back of my truck, headed off, and I ended up in a ballet studio in Denver eventually. That was a real great gift. The next two years, all I did was draw the dancers and try to paint. I uh, wasn't taking classes, I was working on my own. And one night, the choreographer, Rika, uh, she said, I think you should try sculpture. And I went off to this small little community school, Emily Griffith in the center of Denver, put clay in my hands, and it was like the angels came out of the sky. Uh, so this is the wax pot. What we're doing here, we have two rubber molds, one which- You, you finish the piece off. And for me, the piece will tell you, I'm done, I'm finished. Um, and then you begin the process. And it's just a matter of pouring it in. The most important thing in the process is the rubber mold. The rubber mold will then get you a wax casting, a hollow wax casting. You then gate the wax. Gating is uh, bars of wax, and that's how the metal is going to feed into the casting. You think of it as plumbing, and there's vents which take air away. This is where the ceramic shell molds are made that we'll use to pour bronze into eventually. It takes about eight to nine coats. Each coat has to dry before the next coat. This was poured last week. The metal went into this feeding gate down into here. Once again, you can see the vents going up. That's good for that. So at the moment, most of the uh, shell is off the outside. And once I cut the gates off, then I can get the shell out from the inside. I was sculpting. I was still drawing in the ballet studio and my friend Brian was doing the series of grand jetés and he hit the wall in the last one and I saw him go through the wall. And it's not so much that I saw him, I saw a sculpture. And that's how the sculptures are for me. They're all done. So I really don't think of myself so much as a creator. I'm just the guy who gets the job done. So it's a very different way of working. It's having faith in those visions. You have to understand that all the arts you might have a dancer on stage, you might have a painting. 
you might have a sculpture, but it's not a person. It's a sculpture and a work of art, whatever it is, is about the human soul, the human spirit, the human experience. That's what I'm interested in.